So server-side rendering is all the rage these days. So with my project, why did I choose not to use it? And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but it's actually just using Create React App, which at the end just generates some HTML, JavaScript, and CSS that's static and just gets downloaded off Netlify when you load the page. Now, the reason why I went for this is the benefits of server-side rendering, at least to my knowledge, and correct me if I'm wrong, the two big ones I see are one, SEO. Especially for dynamic content, it makes it easier for Google to be able to crawl your site, and then you're gonna find you're gonna have more people be visiting your site if you get better SEO. And then two, the performance, at least on the first load. So the first time your website is loaded, it's gonna be loaded faster. Now the downside of that is it's more complex to set up server-side rendering. So with Saffron right now, the recipes are pretty much the dynamic content. And that right now is all private. Now if I change that in the future, maybe it'll warrant more things for me wanting SEO. But for the time being, the SEO argument is less important because I don't have anything that I really want Google to uh, be able to index all the time. Uh, now if I change this in the future, you better believe I'm going to be using server-side rendering because I want all my pages to be indexed uh, and the dynamic content will be indexed that way much easier. Uh, but for the time being, uh, I don't really need the SEO, and secondly, I think the client side in the current setup loads fast enough uh, that it doesn't warrant just setting up server-side rendering for it um, and adding the complexity of it and adding having to set up servers to now render that. I can just push it to Netlify and have Netlify handle all that stuff for me, which is super nice. So that's the reason why I'm not using server-side rendering right now. I just don't need what it gives you. But I definitely will be changing that in the future if I end up changing the way that Saffron works. And the two that look really interesting to me uh, are Next.js. Now, if I end up migrating my website, though, I'm not sure if I'm going to choose Next.js just because it's a little bit more opinionated. And so it might be harder to switch over uh, to Next.js. And you could see as this was flipping through, one of the things it said was SEO. Uh, the other one that looks kind of interesting is Razzle. Um, this is another one that I think is a little bit less opinionated um, and is trying to be like create React app for server-side rendering. Uh, but I haven't tried this one at all, so I don't know for sure. But I'd love to hear what you guys are using for server-side rendering and, and which one you like the best, if you've tried both of those or if there's another one I haven't even heard about or tried before. I'd love to hear about it. I'm also kind of waiting because uh, I'm not sure if Suspense, which is going to be coming out pretty soon from what I hear, uh, with React is going to change how server-side rendering is going to work or if it's going to make it better or if it's going to make it easier. So I kind of want to see what that does. Uh, and then I might get more into the server-side rendering scene and do that then. Anyway, I'd love to hear your comments on this because server-side rendering does interest me.